Hello everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I want to talk about different causes of pain in the ball of the foot. Okay, now the foot can be pretty complicated, but I really want to simplify this to three or four different diagnoses that can cause dysfunction. Now, one thing I want you to do is make sure you stay till the end of this video because I'm going to show you on my foot what a true ball of the foot injury looks like, but for teaching purposes, it's just easier for me to do this on my daughter. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with just a little anatomy, okay? So if you take a look at the bottom side of the foot, here is the joint line between the metatarsal and phalangeal area, so the MTPJ joint. And this joint, if it's arthritic, can cause a lot of discomfort, a lot of inflammation, can be swollen, and can give you some trouble. Now, the other issue that could cause some pain in the ball of the foot would be something like gout, um, but that causes a significant amount of swelling, redness, and you can't even touch the area. And one of the other spots that we can have trouble in are at the sesamoid bones. Now these little sesamoid bones, they float. They act to help um, give leverage for the toe when it flexes. And what can happen is you can have some irritation to it just from hitting them or uh, maybe having the toe pushed back too far. And that can cause some irritation to the sesamoid bones and also to the flexor hallucis brevis tendons that they sit in. So you can have tendonitis or tendinopathy along with this sesamoid itis or inflammation around the area. Now there's also a little intersesamoid ligament right here that can be split and that can cause a severe amount of discomfort and then these sesamoid bones kind of float around a little bit and uh, they don't like to do that. They like to be nice and stable in that tendon. Um, so the other issue that you can have in the ball of the foot is a plantar plate issue which is not easy to draw here but it's a fibrocartilaginous tissue underneath that metatarsal phalangeal joint that helps to protect the joint, it helps to hold it together, and it also helps to um, just give it some protection for when you're walking all the time. Um, so those are different sources of pain and dysfunction at the ball of the foot. Um, there is a bursa over here also, sometimes that can get irritated and inflamed and cause some swelling and some bruising. So with that being said, I'm gonna jump in here and show you my foot tell you my story and then uh, you know we'll go from there all right now you can see where um, I've had I have a little bit of bruising I injured my foot about five to six days ago I was sitting on a chair and the bar underneath the chair was sitting right here between my first and second metatarsals and my foot rolled off to the side and rolled over my sesamoids as it went down and caused some irritation. It wasn't super painful, but within about you know half an hour, this was significantly swollen um, to the point where I was starting to lose a little bit of sensation on the skin. And the next day, um, I just bruised right up like this, okay? Now I had absolutely no pain to passive flexion or extension or ab and adduction, okay? No discomfort there, so my joint is fine. Um, I don't have any obvious signs of gout and I have no pain to resistance to extension or flexion. So I don't think that it is a tendon, a flexor tendon issue that is inflamed um, causing this problem. But when I start to palpate, if I get right in here, I can feel my sesamoid and then I go just a little further off to the side and this sesamoid is really, really tender here, okay? So I think all that happened was that bar rolled over, caused some inflammation at the sesamoid, maybe a little bit in the tendon, um, and was very, very tender to touch and tender to put on a hard surface. So the way I took care of this was, I just put a really thick sock on, always wore shoes inside the house, took a little pressure off of it for a couple of days, um, and it's starting to feel significantly better. The swelling is going down, and the um, bruising is starting to go away. So I'm um, just starting to feel much better. I'm going to start working on some flexor strengthening uh, soon and a little bit of stability on you know balance and those types of things. So uh, that is what a ball of the foot irritation can look like. And um, I hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, got a better idea on the different sources of ball of the foot pain. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.